In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using Post-Trans to do a stock take in Sage 50. It's going to be a two-part uh, video, because first part, we're going to actually use a stock take template. And the second part, we're going to use the normal sheet that we use to edit or create stock items. We're going to add a column to it, and we'll create some stock items and move stock in all in one operation. So here I am on the Post-Trans uh, 50 toolbar, and I'm going to press help. I'm just going to type stock, uh, sorry, take into the search for stock take, and double click on that. Now let's open the example that comes with Post-Trans. So you can see here, and if you're familiar with the Post-Trans um, spreadsheets, basically there's a series of tags in row one, which uh, define the columns of data below. Um, which are written to row four onwards. So here we can see we've got our product code, its type, its description, its category, and the quantity in stock. Plus we've got this extra column here with a tag PR new in stock. Now what Post-Trans will do when I press the import button, it will scan down looking for values. And if there are any values in this column, it will set the in stock quantity figure in Sage 50, it will set it to that via using a stock adjustment. So if we were going to use this, then possibly on the Friday, we would press extract. And of course, we can actually filter some data by categories. If you watch the training videos, it will show you how to do that. I'm just going to press overwrite all. So basically, I've pulled all my stock out of Sage 50 and the current in stock values. So we could then save this down and we could give it to somebody on a laptop to run around the warehouse or maybe even a tablet computer. And all they'd have to do is enter figures in this column here. So for instance, we may find we've got 60 of those items. And for some reason, we've actually found that we've got eight on the shelf of these items. So this would then be saved down, brought back to the computer in the accounts. And all you'd have to do is press this import button up here and you see here it's telling us that we're going to do a stock take and i just press ok and it's gone down and processed those two items so let's just scroll back up so the proof is in the pudding let's switch back to sage 50 so the first one is books 03 so now if i click on books 03 you see there it says quantity 62 which i believe is the previous in stock figure and when we open it it now is set to 60. So if I now go to the activity, we should now see, well, we've done two stock takes this morning actually, um, we'll see that it's moved two out to correct the in stock figure. And if we go to CAS02, uh, we should see it's moved two in. I can't see CAS02. Let's have a look here, let's filter that down, CAS2. Yeah, it's moved the quantity to 8 at the in-stock figure. And we should now see it moved 2 in. So as I said in the second part of this video, what we're going to do is we're going to move stock in with a new product. So here I am on my product record tab. This allows me to edit all my products. I can add extra columns using this tags button here and all this. Uh, so this can be customized quite uh, heavily. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add that column that we saw for stock take, this PR new in stock, to here. So we're going to go tags. And let's just type in the search here, new. And that's added it to the spreadsheet. So what can we do with this? Well, what we could do is if we said, oh, we want to create a new stock item, I've just copied that row there. I can actually move down here and paste that in. Now, if it's a new stock item, I probably want to give it a new stock code. And I don't know, for some reason it's V2. And uh, of course I could set the sales price since it's version two, we'll sell it for more. And we're going to say well, the last cost is 150 and I'm going to move 10 of them into stock also. So now when I press the import button, Post Trans is going to whiz down and process all that. 
So here we can see it says we've created one new record and it's put posted against it. So now if I check for CDR in Sage 50, we should have a CDR 4. And look, we can see we've moved 10 into stock as well. 10 in stock. And if we go to the activity tab, we move 10 in at a cost price of 150. There's something worth noting here. There's a special switch in system settings. Because if you give this spreadsheet, this stock take spreadsheet to somebody, you don't want them editing all the descriptions and things. You don't want any typos appearing. All you want it to do is process this one column. So what we've done in here is in setup and switches, we've actually got a tick box that makes that column read only. So now having ticked that, it will ignore any changes to the rest of the sheet. But on the flip side, on this sheet, you want to process any changes. So uh, that's kind of why that was added. Anyway, this is part of the uh, professional version of Post Trans for Sage 50.